Okay, how do you load test a battery? Uh, connect those on there. Like, you connect these on there? <laughs> we'll listen to Sambo today. <laughs> With the vehicle turned off, hey, you connect the positive and the negative to the terminals. Okay, as soon as, as soon as you connect it, if you look over here, some numbers start popping up and a battery light comes on. That means your battery has some juice in it. That means it's got some charge in it. Okay? How many volts uh, is it showing right now? 12.78. Ooh, it's supposed to be 12.6, right? Remember what I told you? It's going to be a little more or a little less. Okay. Let me tell you one thing. If it's... It's, if it's close to or if it's showing pretty close to 13 volts, okay, that means it's got surface charge. What surface charge means is those battery plates can hold 12.6 volts, but it's still got some fumes on the top that have some charge in them, okay? That's basically, you know, the extra charge that the battery has. First thing I do after I hook up that tester, just to make sure I have, uh, you know, uh, I've already used up the surface charge. Surface charge is like, you know, pocket change. Okay, it's like kind of like pocket change on top of what you have. What I do, I... What happened? Oh, Subaru, well, don't... You have they to don't have a horn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you have pee in it? Nope. <laughs> okay, what I do is I basically... Turn the headlights on and then off. Okay? Did it go down? 12, 5. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's back up. it's going to go back up a little bit. Okay? It's going to come pretty close to 12.6. I've used up that extra fake charge. That's what I call it. Surface charge is not helping you at all. It's just a fake charge that's there. Okay? It's a weak charge. Okay? It won't be there all the time. So don't get fooled by it. See, it's, it's, it's settled down at 12.6. I used up that extra charge. Now I'm, I'm ready to test the battery. 225, I was using up 275 amps. At that point, it went down 10.31. This, this tells me that the battery is good. How do I know if the battery is good or bad? What's the magic number on that? 10, pretty close, pretty close, 9.6. If it, blo if it drops below 9.6, the battery is going out or is bad. Make sense? Okay. Okay? 9.6 is the magic number. Okay? 9.6 volts. If you see anything below 9.6 volts, the battery went down. Eventually, the battery will come back up. Okay? That's why we do half of it. If you do 550, you're going you're gonna to tear down the battery. You're going you're gonna to pretty much deteriorate the blades in it okay you don't want to do that it's not gonna blow up on you or anything but it's gonna be dead pretty soon you're gonna you're gonna take too much out of it at one point okay any questions how you do a load test right so the it's gonna go there's a plus in middle of the arrow okay there's a plus in middle of the arrow the arrow or the, the the probe is gonna go on the positive lead of the tester for battery test okay battery load test is gonna go the arrow is going to go towards the machine and as close as you can get to the clamp, okay, with on the positive side. All right, now we got some amp shown, amp ripple, it's negative 1.3. Right here, we got, a, we got a minus and a plus. This is to zero this out. It's very important that you zero it out before you start any, okay. Right now, it's a negative, so I'm going to go positive and zero it out. Okay? If I keep pressing it, it's going to go on the other side. I don't want to go to the other side. Okay? I zero it out right now. Now what do I do that? Now what do I do? Start to load test it, right? How much do I crank this? This is where you would put the load on the battery. This is as if you're, you're running your radio, headlights are on and everything. Okay? What you do is... You're, you take your cold crank in amps, which is 550, divided by half. <laughs> what is half of 550? 275. What's that? I mean, 275. 275. Is it? Okay. You need to know what the temperature is? No. 
Right now, what's the room temperature right now? About 70 degrees, right? 70 degrees is a good temperature for us to be in, okay? Luckily, we don't have an open shop. If we do, you have to do your math, but you will have to do it. Okay, I'm gonna turn this knob and watch my amp gauge, okay? I'm gonna watch my amp gauge and Nope, you're going to smell some burning stuff coming out of here because it's got a carbon pile in here that loads the battery, okay? But you're right. I'm going to turn this until the amperage reaches 275, okay? Half of the battery's capacity. It's going to start beeping as soon as I... See, 60, 70, 80... Oh, went, went a little too... It's kind of tricky. That's pretty close. Okay, that means you need. I need to let go on it. 10.23, that's what I'm re reading. When it starts beeping, a solid beep, okay, that I need to keep my eyes on the voltage. How low did it go? Okay.